my GoPro just to give you a little bit of taste of this road trip. Hope you enjoyed that opening clip. I am still buzzing from doing the NC500 and it's been really hard to get back to work this week. I've said wow a lot on this holiday, on this road trip. If you've been following my shorts and you met me on the NC500, then thank you so much for watching them. Um, hope you um, explore the playlist too, because you can see I do lots of other things as well. And there's campsite reviews and all kinds of things like that. So um, do hit subscribe if you've just found my channel. So here's a little bit of info about the planning I did. I used Robbie Rome's book and he's got a five day itinerary, a nine day and a 12 day. And I used or based my travels on his nine day itinerary. I enjoyed every moment of it, apart from the Applecross mountain pass, which I do believe I think I went wrong and I went up the five miles and down the six into Applecross when I think I should have done it the other way around, but I did eventually do it do the coastal road back out of Applecross. There's no way I wanted to go across that pass again because it was so bloody foggy and I couldn't see a thing. And yes, that was the only day that actually freaked me out. So I promised you some numbers um, after doing the NC500. And um, here they are. I'm gonna base it firstly on um, doing the actual NC500. That's the 500 miles. And um, I calculated that, yeah, I did 500 miles and it cost me about 280 pound in petrol. And that's bearing in mind, sometimes I have to put E10 e in when really I prefer E5 and E5 is generally more expensive. But um, on three occasions, I had to just put E10 because E5 wasn't available. My total trip was 1,868 miles. <laughs> so my total cost on petrol was 480 pounds. Campsite costs, I spent 286 pounds on campsites. What does make a difference is whether you have electric hookup. And I didn't have electric hookup on a lot of my sites because I didn't need it. I actually have two big 6kg gas bottles and that fired the hob, the grill and the fridge. But also I bought myself a Jackery power pack. You can tell that I didn't have a hairdryer because my hair was like pfft. It had that, yeah, Teresa's inner camper look about it. If I met you on the NC500, then I want to give you a shout out. Hello! Thank you for making my trip really special. I want to give a special shout out to Richard and Catherine. Uh, lovely, lovely couple. We kept kind of passing each other. <laughs> you do find that. Uh, people stop that stop off and you go by and then you've stopped somewhere where they haven't stopped and they've seen you. So yeah, we kept um, passing each other and we actually uh, saw each other at Apple Cross and it, it was really lovely to see them actually. <laughs> Um, also, I want to give a guy called Andy a shout out. I think his name's Andy. Um, saw him at Loch Caron and he checked my engine. He just lifted the bonnet and checked all my like distributor cap and things like that. Made sure things were really nice and tight on and gave me a big hug and told me the van was fine and it would get, home, get me home safely. <laughs> and that was such a relief because to be honest, um, when she was really spluttering badly, 
going up that pass and on that hairpin bend when she cut out completely, I really thought, oh my God. I find doing these trips as a solo person, people always come and talk to me and they're so kind to me. I, I just love meeting new people and talking to people and um, I'm sure people um, uh, kind of think, oh God, it's her again. <laughs> Don't go talking to her, you never get away. Um, I do worry that the NC500 will be a victim of its own beauty and success. Um, I did it the middle two weeks of June and really fortunate that there wasn't much traffic about actually. It was, it was lovely, absolutely bliss. Um, totally admire the cyclists that were doing it. I could not believe it. Um, they are fit people. They really are. Those big motorhomes, yeah, they're just a bit big for that NC500. They really are. And forget it if you've got a car and a caravan because the passing spaces aren't big enough. And I think the tourist board need to speak to highways because the NC500 in places has got some really serious potholes. My God, I hit a couple of them and I thought, have I got a rear axle left or front axle left or wheel left? I just love it. I love my van and I love being out in her and um, I can't wait for my next little trip. Um, I will be doing weekends away and I will take you with me. If you've just come across my channel, then do check out the playlist because I cover lots of different topics, even down to laying stepping stones in the garden. Um, it is a huge part of my life, Jesus World. I just love it. I just love, um, love creating these little videos and hopefully inspiring people out there. It's certainly been the most spectacular trip I've ever done. Um, see you again on my next video. Bye bye.